Hi guys, I am excited to say that we are now published. The lean mass hyperresponder study is now in the literature under current developments in nutrition. I'll have a link that's down below. Go ahead and click it, download it, and read it for yourself. And I'm only gonna just hit a few highlights. What this is is primarily a combination of standing survey data, which we had over a thousand participants, and we narrowed it down to those who've gone on a carb-restricted diet, uh, and also a case series of five individuals under Dr. Tro's care uh, who took on an intervention, which I'll talk about in a moment. But again, I'm only going to hit a few of the highlights. The first and biggest one is something that I'd been observing for some time, particularly in the phenomenon of lean mass hyperresponders, which is to say those people who go on a low-carb diet but tend to be leaner and presumably a bit more metabolically healthy tend to see the highest pronounced increase in their LDL cholesterol. But conversely, those people are more metabolically challenged who tend to, for example, have high triglycerides and low HDL when they start the diet, and especially if they have much more BMI, they tended to not see that much of a pronounced change in LDL, especially in the direction going upward. And the survey data backs it up with some extraordinary correlations. This seems to show that indeed there does tend to be a high association between both of those axes, triglycerides and HDL, versus ultimately resulting BMI. They tend to have a very strong association with high LDL. So this could be considered fairly good news uh, for those people who are certainly concerned about having high LDL and, or for that matter, that they may see their LDL go high, but they're already in a metabolically challenged state. This seems to suggest that there might be less of a likelihood of that. Conversely, for those people who are lean, metabolically healthy, and then decide to go fully ketogenic, this could be somewhat might be predictive of the higher likelihood that they would see a higher increase in LDL. Now, again, got to put forward that there's limitations. This is survey data. It, there is a degree of self-selection, you know, those folks who are going to be following me. But that said, the degree of correlation across the cascade of all of these different subgroups is pretty substantial. Now, this brings me around to Dr. Tro's intervention. So for those who do see a substantial increase in their LDL, they are leaner and typically more metabolically healthy as assessed in these case series. Well, for those folks who are choosing not to take on medication to lower their LDL, but would like to lower their LDL, he does just a moderate introduction of carbs. And per what we would predict with the lipid energy model, they do, in see, they, they do in, indeed see a drop in their LDL. In fact, in some cases, uh, quite substantial. The person who had the highest LDL saw one of the greatest changes from just a moderate uh, introduction of carbohydrates. So in that regard, again, if you're already somebody who's concerned about high LDL on a low-carb diet, this paper's got something for both populations in that regard and is something that you may want to consider. Lastly, of course, we do also go through a lot of the limitations. I mentioned the survey data limitations and that there's also further study because we don't really address risk in this paper. That's what the coming uh, clinical data that we're hoping to get with the Lundquist Institute, uh, which as you know is ongoing right now, and we're about, um, I want to say, four or five months into. So that data should help illuminate a bit more, especially on risks on the cardiovascular disease side with the lean mass hyperresponder phenotype. So once again, if you could, go ahead and download this paper. Um, the, more, the more downloads, the more hits, uh, the more this actually helps support the research because it helps spread further awareness and uh, helps us out to move this forward. Thank you so much.